Namaste, hola, assalamu alaikum. My name is Maria, I live in London, and I'm studying medicine at Queen Mary University of London. One interesting fact about myself, as you might have already guessed, is that I can speak four languages fluently, English, Hindi, Spanish, and Urdu. I really love languages, I love teaching them to other people, and I think that learning about different cultures and different languages helps us overcome barriers to communication, both with patients and the team. For me, it's a huge privilege to be able to participate in the Clinical Key Global Challenge. I've really enjoyed the challenges so far, they've taught me a lot, and I'm really looking forward to learning even more. By participating, I'm so excited to meet other new students from across the globe and work together, inspire each other, and create new ideas that have the potential to change the future of medicine and of patient care. Because after all, we're always striving for the best possible patient care that we can achieve, and that's our shared goal. I really enjoy team working and I thrive from seeing the hard work of a team achieve the goal that we've been working towards for so long. I think it's really important as a leader to know and understand your team members. And that doesn't mean just knowing their names, but actually knowing what their strengths and skills are, understanding how they work, because only then can we understand how they really feel about their role. Every team member needs to feel valued, both individually and as part of a team, by understanding how important their role is and how it's contributing to the overall aim of the team, because really the team is nothing without its members. When working towards the goal as a leader, it's essential to work alongside the team and provide continual encouragement and motivation for the team. As the team leader at Bart City Lifesaver, my role is to support and mentor newer members of the charity as we all work towards the common goal of teaching basic life support to as many people as possible, despite challenges. Through regular meetings and emails, I make sure that every team member understands their role within the team, that they feel supported, and I always encourage them to voice their ideas and opinions. As team members progress through sessions, we provide constructive feedback and more rewards and opportunities to encourage them to continue to teach others these important life-saving skills. When working in teams, I think conflict is inevitable, and actually I think it's often a good thing, because it allows everyone to express their ideas, communicate effectively, listen to the other te team members, and helps bring the team closer together when they actually resolve the conflict. When managing conflict, I think it's essential to consider and respect the ideas of every member of the team, and work with each other to try to bring in everyone's contributions and thoughts. I think the collective ideas of the whole team is often better than just one person's idea, and that's something that I recently learned when I was creating a new course on CPR for children with a colleague. When creating the session, I thought it would be quite important to revisit adult CPR, because CPR for children is based on that, and so it would be easier for participants to understand. However, my colleague was worried that if we covered adults and children in one session, we might confuse the participants. In listening to each other's ideas, we came together and decided together that we were going to incorporate a practical that revisited adult CPR, but designing colour code the slides to highlight the differences between adult and child CPR. Through collaborating to resolve our conflict, we were able to deliver a successful session and the participants really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for listening to my ideas and I hope you enjoyed it.